By now, you've probably heard that The Simpsons has correctly guessed a handful of wild predictions. Well, guess what? They didn't get everything right. Here are 10 Simpsons predictions that haven't come true. Yet. Number 1. A Robot Takeover Back in this 1994 episode, the family visits Itchy and Scratchy Land, but the trip goes horribly wrong when the robots fight back and attack everyone. Ah, my hair! Thank God for flash photography. Shout out to Get Out. And luckily for all of us, the robots haven't risen up. Yet. Number 2. You've Got Hollow Mail the Simpsons have been known to travel through time. In this episode, Bart gets a first-hand look at what his life will be like in the year 2030. It's not pretty. Ooh, that's me in the future? Quiet, you're about to say something. The show also predicted some fancy technology that we still haven't seen yet. Hologram mail. Hey, dingus, your band can play at my club tonight. Yes! Smell you later! I can't believe Smell You Later replaced Goodbye. Smell you later! Smell you, smell you later. later! Now this one might come true on a future iPhone or something, but there's zero chance that Smell You Later catches on. Number three, virtual reality food. Another prediction from the same episode finds Homer and Marge chowing down in the kitchen on some virtual grub. Virtual fudge tastes like crap. Thanks to some VR glasses and feeding tubes. You know this is a glimpse of our future when we all turn into the people from WALL-E. In fact, Royal Caribbean has already looked into giving their guests a VR dining experience. As soon as VR reaches the masses, we might all be enjoying make-believe meals. I know what you're thinking. In 2030, both of these could come true, which means The Simpsons predicted them correctly, and I'll have to redo this whole video. Or a robot will do it for me. Number four, Bigfoot is real. Back in this 1990 episode, a Bigfoot encounter makes national headlines. Unsurprisingly, it was all a hoax, as Homer got mistaken for a Bigfoot after getting covered head to toe in mud on a camping trip. Nearly 12 years later, in this 2002 episode, the family runs into the actual, real Bigfoot while getting off a bus in Canada. Sorry people, the Simpsons are wrong. There is no such thing as Bigfoot. Uh, maybe not. Number 5. Mind Control Through Music some may argue that mind control through music has already been proven, but maybe not to the extent that we saw in this 2001 episode. You remember LT Smash, or Lieutenant Smash, the music producer who built a new hit boy band starring Bart, Nelson, Milhouse, and Ralph? Thank you, NASA. The party posse became massive stars, all while secretly using voice-enhancing software developed by NASA to improve their singing abilities. But then Lisa discovers that the band had been performing songs with subliminal messages in them, specifically recruiting messages for the U.S. Navy. Join the Navy! Join the Navy! Apparently, pop music was one of the many tools that the military used in order to recruit. You'd think more people would catch on after realizing that the posse's biggest hit song was titled Drop the Bomb. And that's why I gotta drop the bomb! Number 6. George Clooney is killed in quicksand. This one's a bit dark, people. Season 20's Treehouse of Horror installment finds Homer Simpson becoming a celebrity assassin. One of his targets? George Clooney. So he waits for Clooney's Hollywood Walk of Fame ceremony and uses some extra deep quicksand to take out Clooney. Thankfully, Clooney is alive and well, unlike this episode suggests. And also, Clooney actually doesn't have a star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame. Number 7. Ivanka Trump runs for president. The Simpsons correctly predicted Donald Trump's presidency, so would you really be surprised if Ivanka Trump ran for office in 2028? This 2016 Treehouse of Horror episode featured Homer wearing an Ivanka 2028 campaign button. Because in America, everything's way too early. See? <laughs> It sure seems conceivable, but there is no way this happens. The new Supreme Court Justice Ivanka takes Ruth Bader Ginsburg's seat on the bench. Number eight, first foreign born president. But The Simpsons doesn't get every presidential prediction correct. Much like Demolition Man before it, the Schwarzenegger Library, the Simpsons predicted our first foreign-born president would be none other than Arnold Schwarzenegger. In the Simpsons movie, the Austrian-born President Schwarzenegger ordered a giant dome over Springfield. And what was Arnold like as president? 
Let's just say he wasn't portrayed in the most positive light. You don't even want to read him first? I was elected to lead, not to read. Number three. Now we know Schwarzenegger has political experience as former governor of California, but it's not likely that he will actually become president. You know, because the whole constitution thing. But who knows, what if the Simpsons and Demolition Man are right? Wasn't he an actor when Stop. you- Stop, he was president? Yes. Even though he was not born in this country, his popularity at the time caused the 61st Amendment, which states that- I don't wanna know. Number nine, hover cars. Back in this 2005 episode, Professor Frink introduced Bart and Lisa to one of his greatest inventions, a time machine. It allowed the siblings to travel eight years into their future. So what did they discover in 2013? Well, Homer wasted the family savings on an underwater house. Yep. And also, he bought a hover car. Why'd you buy the first hover car ever made? Didn't you know it'd take time to work out the kinks? <laughs> I know! It's a hover car! Now, as cool as electric and self-driving cars are, we still don't have anything that can actually hover. Not even a hover skateboard yet. Number 10, the colonization of Mars. On the topic of travel, Elon Musk and SpaceX have a dream of one day colonizing Mars, and so did the Simpsons. In this 2016 episode, Lisa finds out about Exploration Incorporated, a private company whose plan it is to colonize Mars by 2026. So of course Lisa signs up, but Marge isn't too thrilled about it, so the entire family volunteers to join her. Now for some reason the project gets moved up to the end of the week, seems totally safe, but luckily the rocket fails during takeoff. It's not a real rocket, it's the outside of a real rocket. It's not until years later, 2051 to be exact, that we see Lisa and Marge have finally made it to Mars. If I want to leave Mars and move to Venus, you can't stop me! Now we know SpaceX is planning for a Mars-bound cargo flight by 2022, but we're quite some time away from a full-on city on Mars. Can SpaceX pull it off by 2051? We'll have to wait and see. So the moral of the story, some predictions that the Simpsons make don't come true, but if we give them enough time, eventually, they probably will. Hit me up in the comments with your favorite prediction, and make sure you're subscribed for some more crazy prediction videos. What TV show or movie should we do next? 